Hi everybody, welcome back to 30 Days Until Done, the walking meditation. We're doing our our month of radical amazement, and really that's what a walking meditation is, is just uh, slowing down so you can be radically amazed by the world. Are you getting this in the shot? No. <laughs> uh, she does this uh, uh, for you know, a good deal of her time every day, uh, just chewing on that back foot, um, taking care of her, her toenails. Um, okay, so, what... what, what <laughs> She's just in my line of sight still. Um, I, don't worry, if she were harming herself, make, like doing, causing scabs or anything, I'd stop her. She's, she's not. Um, so, okay. So what in the world uh, uh, are we doing today? My wife uh, is, a, is an artist, and she teaches uh, look, look slow, draw fast. And the, the idea behind this is you really, the, the art of drawing is being able to see, and it takes a long time to see, right? Uh, and so th this is uh, probably why I have never really been successful as an visual artist is because I, I've not yet taken the time to st stop and look. doesn't mean I won't be visual artist, it's just I, I haven't yet. Um, and in fact, we can all do this. And, but it, it, it's, it requires kind of a shift in our perception. And the shift is like you don't see things when, when you just look at it. When, when you're going through and you're just looking at stuff, you're doing it quickly to gain information, so so as not to die, basically, uh, and that mean that shifts the way we look at every single thing. Um, if like I, I always have if we're gonna get a bird book, I always want to get the one made by John Muir Laws uh, because he draws them rather than f takes pictures, and they're they're not accurate, not not like physically humanly accurate. They are uh, intentionally better than accurate because people when they look at something tend to see what they're see, see certain things so he exaggerates those bits just a little bit so it's easier for you to identify from his book than from an actual photograph which is when you think about it kind of amazing right and he's figured out how to, how to do that um, we're gonna try to break that though uh, we're not just looking fast at these at these birds or whatever what I want you to do is go into whatever version of a backyard you have I have no backyard I've got a balcony right um, and the, the balcony it, it's fine right uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out there and I'm going to look slow. I'm going to find something out there, um, a tree. Uh, I've got a couple of little trees there, a, a plant. Uh, if you were going to draw it, I'd say get a blade of grass, but it's hard to write about a blade of grass. Uh, you know, usually you want to have some sort of level of implication. Um, maybe I'll, I'll sit there and I'll watch the way Lizzie it goes, it interacts with things. Now she's staring at me because I said her name. Uh, the way the way Lizzie interacts with things, uh, maybe I'll I'll take a look at the way my bare feet do and the sorts of things that they, they do out there. Uh, whatever, that's fine. Um, but the point is to stop and to look at your backyard with a with an artist's sensibility. That is to look slowly and then draw fast. It always it just it's kind of floors me to hang out with with uh, and and her, when her friends when they're doing drawing stuff. There are a couple of uh, sessions this this summer. In which there were no poets, they were all artists, and like they just go out and they stare at things silently. It's like, that's so anathema to, to, to writers. <laughs> like like uh, all we're ever doing is talking and uh, playing these these verbal games to one up each other, even when we're not aware of it. Uh, but, but it's a, a very healthy thing to do. It's just to sit and, and to look and to understand. And okay, so today it's the backyard, looking like an artist. All right. And when you have that poem, put it down below. We'll see you tomorrow. Thirty days in the